golf course to go, you know, anything under three, four under, you have to play well on, on every single area of the game. So today was the case. Um, obviously, I feel like I left quite a few shots out of there. So uh, it was one of those days that could have been a, a, a very special one. But, you know, I'm, I'm happy with the results. With the weather in the morning, and I mean, did you see the scores the guys are posting? Did you kind of, kind of get a sense that a low one was out there today? I didn't, I, I never, I never look at the morning wave because it usually plays like very different. So um, I know it was, I know it was soft, and I knew it was going to be softer for us. So uh, it was, it was probably the easiest course that we can find out there. It was super soft, um, a lot of pins in the front, and. Uh, a lot of balls that fit towards the hole so um, like I said uh, never look at the look at, never look at the way they play because you might see something and, and, and then it plays totally different so I try to I try to stick to my strategy and just go with it How big was that scramble on 17 for you to make par and, and catapult you into the front nine? Yeah I mean look 17 is one of the holes that you try to make it for not, uh, I wasn't. I wasn't too happy with a five. Yeah. Uh, obviously, after the third shot, after the driver, and after the third shot, I'm, uh, I, I knew I was going to be very happy with a five. But definitely not. Definitely not the thought process when you stand on the tee. So, um, but yeah, um, I was more happy with the driver in 18 after yesterday's bogey on, on that one. So, um, that kept me going, kept me rolling for 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 the front nine which was my back nine it did kind of seem like a jump start though you though did it did that way you played on 17 did it did it anger you did it uh, motivate you kind of what was the feeling after that disappointment to, to no, come I mean, out? look a par is a par <laughs> I mean it's not I'm not a uh, you, there's a lot of times that you complain about a par but after, like I said after the tee shot and then the 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 third shot I was just happy to be on the green uh, so um, walking with a five, walking to the next hole with a five wasn't wasn't the end of the world. You set yourself up well so far with uh, FedEx Cup. Are you thinking about that at all here this week? It is what it is. Um, I haven't played great all year, so um, I'm just happy that I have an opportunity to be, um, you know, still have the chance to grind my way in, and, and I'm and I'm trying to do that. If if it works out great, if it doesn't, then. We'll continue grinding. So, what's the mentality heading into the weekend? Uh, I mean, you look at the scoreboard, look at the leaderboard, and see kind of what JT is doing out there. Do you uh, stay aggressive? Do you kind of? I mean, what's your mindset knowing that he's, I mean, he's not so low? Like you mentioned, JT, I, I, I'd be surprised if he continues. I mean, if he reaches 30, 3200, I'd be surprised. You know, it's uh, obviously he's he's been playing really well so far, and and it's hard to keep doing the same. The the same applies for everybody. Um, it's kind of hard to keep playing the same way for four days. Obviously, you're gonna you're gonna have to grind your way through the weekend, and, and that's what I'm planning to do. Obviously, uh, if I if I keep playing the same way, I'll be very happy. So just a couple in Spanish for you, real quick. Oh, real quick. Yeah, you, uh, your first start here. Just your. Uh, he lives, huh? Yeah. <laughs> please, por favor. Uh, first start here. Just your thought on uh, deciding to come here, and how much, had, if ever, had you seen the course before? This I got time? lost in English and Spanish. English. English. <laughs> what was the question? Sorry, I was... First start here, what does, yeah. about the decision to come and play and... Talk I about mean, it. I have to play everything. He just he just asked, like, I'm pretty far behind the FedEx Cup. I have to play in in every tournament that I can. Um, I don't like playing a lot, but um, tournament director was, uh, you know, very persistent of me coming back or coming here for the first time. Uh, obviously, it's, 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 been, it's been great so far. So, um, you know, I, I like the golf course. Um, so... Hopefully, um, hopefully it won't be my last. So we'll see. Okay, and then lastly, I just got a question to ask about your approach shot. Oh, your your greens and regulation are you're incredible. Seventeen of eighteen greens today, thirty-one of thirty-six through thirty-six holes. Specifically, I was asked to ask you about your approaches at three and six on your back nine. Three and today, six. Three and six. You stuck both of those close. Well, I wouldn't say stuck, but they were they were close. I still had to make the putt. I mean, it wasn't. My shots have been really. No, it was. It wasn't. You know, uh, obviously, I wish they were closer. I like tap ins. I like gimmies. It's 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 easier when you don't have to to grind and think a little bit more. But um, yeah, obviously, 
obviously stats don't lie and um, uh, you know it's nice to see uh, some balls going close to the hole and, and especially when they go in when the, when when you see putts going in that's that's when uh, when, uh, when when the smiles come comes out okay perfect. you good Dougie? Now, uh,